J'ai le plaisir de vous présenter le président de l'Université française d'Égypte, professeur Denis Darpi. Merci. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. I'll make the presentation in English for everybody, uh, not in English. Mais we are French, but we speak English. So that's possible. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh. Ah, okay. Hey. This way? Peut-être que c'est, oui, je sais pas. Yeah. Go. Ah, there was a small movie, but it doesn't work. <laughs> no, no mind. Um, good morning, everybody. Actually, today I'm going to show you a, one example. Actually, the topic is about having an international degree. And I get you with throw an example, which is the, uh, the French University, UAFI, Université Française d'Egypte. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a study with France in Egypt. And actually, you'll see a lot of universities here now in Egypt where you have the possibility to study like if you would be in the other country. And I'll show you uh, some examples and what do we propose, who we are, what we do. Uh, maybe the first thing is to uh, go back to our history. We are 20 years old, uh, 20 years old, 20 years in Egypt. Uh, after AUC, we were the first in the university to take uh, an international name as Université Française d'Egypte. Uh, and it was back in 2002 when it has been inaugurated both by President Chirac and B President uh, Mubarak. Uh, actually, at the beginning, and it, it is really the blueprint of new international universities, how to provide Egyptians and international uh, scholarships, uh, curriculums here in Egypt. It has been threatening in 2019. Uh, through a government-to-government -government agreement between France and uh, Egypt. And it's very important. There are three things which are important to it. First, our mission is to bring uh, a European-style education through what we call uh, the Bologna system, which is actually bachelor plus master plus doctorate. Three years plus two years plus three years. Uh, and actually, our main topics today and more to come in 2023 are artificial intelligence, uh, cultural heritage management and tourism, applied languages, uh, mechanical engineering, architecture, uh, as well as management, uh, and many other things. 2023, we'll have decorative arts, as well as uh, uh, more in tourism, and soon many things to announce. The incubator will be launched actually in, on October 2022. So big changes are coming with the French University. And what we have to offer, actually, is to develop sensitive, responsible, and creative trilegal leaders in Africa. We are in Africa. And actually, as uh, uh, our, my previous uh, speaker uh, was saying, well, it's different in Egypt. I mean, crossing the streets, it's different. It's an experience, OK? Uh, last week, I was back in France. And actually, I was driving my car in France. And, oh, no bumps, no hole. I was kind of lost. <laughs> so clearly, it's different. And it's very important to adjust. I mean, the meaning to why we are here is to adjust, to bring you something. But also, our students coming from France who have another experience, exchange. Mobility, creativity, sensitivity. This is really at the heart of our uh, discussion. So, treating leaders, French, English, and Arabic. When you speak three, three of them, then you speak three of the five most spoken languages in the world. Everything is open to you. So, maybe the first thing is to talk about our alumni. Because it's very difficult when you try to, well, shall I do mechanical engineering, or shall I do uh, something very fancy new? What's important is the career you are going to do in your life. And actually, you may start with one degree and do something else. So let's take some examples. Uh, one of them is Mut Haselmi. He has been graduated in mechanical engineering. He's now chairman of Free Labs. Free Labs is the largest network of innovation centers in the world, uh, in Africa, sorry. Not in the world yet. Uh, in Africa, uh, mechanical engineering. 
Hisham Ezat, after studying at UFE, he went to France. He has a degree from PhD from, a PhD from Min Paris Tech. Min Paris Tech is one of the top engineering schools actually worldwide. So he's now a diplomat working for the foreign ministry. Rami, after computer science engineering, artificial intelligence. Then he went actually to study uh, in France with Telecom Paris Tech, and now he's working for Nokia before Arquetel Lucent. So very different type of carrier. We have computer, uh, yes, it's artificial intelligence, but network, in telephone, uh, phone company. Sandra, after working with computer engineering, now she was at Orange. And as well, maybe Aya El Garyani, maybe you know her. Uh, she is now a journalist, speaker, and uh, she is one of our former alumni from Applied Languages. We have people from Applied Languages who are now HR manager at Wedi Food. We have people who are a product manager at, uh, in, um, in luxury companies in Paris. We have some of them who are uh, journalists. So, all type of careers after graduation from uh, uh, Université Française d'Égypte. Our offer, actually, we have eight partners. We are not one university. We are a hub of multiple international French partners, all ranked in the first 500 at the Shanghai ranking, or US, or THE, whatever the ranking you want. Our partners are Nantes University, on the west of side of Paris, France, Sorbonne Nouvelle, Panthéon Sorbonne, Université de Technologie de Compiègne from Sorbonne University, part of the first 20 in the ranking, international ranking. Université de Alsace, CY University for Civil Engineering, INSA for Architecture. So a whole range. When you join Université Française d'Egypte, you join one of these universities. And from day one, you have the student card of these universities and the student card of UFE. Three languages. So we are French and we speak English. Yes, that's possible. Nous parlons français et nous parlons anglais aussi. Oui, c'est possible. But if you don't speak in French when you join us, then, of course, you will have to speak French by the next three years. But don't forget, don't, don't worry. When you speak very good English, it's easy to learn French. I can tell you by experience. When you speak English and French, it's not easy to learn Arabic. So if you have done the jump from Arabic to English, then it's easy. It's very easy. So, really, don't be afraid of that. We take you there. Three languages, French, English, and Arabic. And we will continue Arabic, because it's very important to write very clearly and very good Arabic. And this is a very strong asset of our students. When El Sewedi comes to us, oh, we want them. They learn French, it's so big French. For example, when Kola Hai, who is doing all the rarest around Egypt, well, it's good, I mean, <laughs> Even the manager of Kola High is Algerian, but he's very happy to have Egyptian with him because clearly they speak better in Arabic than him. And especially when you have to talk to the army, better to talk not in English or in French. It works better in Arabic. So that's very important. Three years, three years that's very important. Our bachelors are accredited like a baccalaureate of four years. Same credit hours, ECTS, 180 CTS for the number of credit hours in four years. So either you have a choice of a three-year program in applied languages, in tourism, in management, or you go for a five-year program in engineering and you get both a bachelor and a master at the end. When you last year will spend in France to get the master of one of our partner universities. Seven domain of studies, more, and as I said as an introduction, more to come next year. The first one is business, both at bachelor level and master. So you can go for the bachelor in management, and then you can continue as a master as, uh, in banking and finance with not university. Applied languages, we have Sorbonne Nouvelle, who is a leading university in France for anything that's about literature, and languages, and so on. Really, it's a leading university. It's the home of ESIT, which is École Supérieure d'Interprétariat et, 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 et de Traduction, which is one of the top interpretation schools in, in the world. Uh, and we have a licence. So when you join us, well, you go have a student card from Sorbonne Nouvelle, from the first year, you are registered at the Ministry of Education here as well. And after three years, you get your French diploma, which is accredited in Egypt, like four years. Then you can work, 
or you can continue later on uh, on different possibilities. Go, for example, to the master of uh, that we are going to open in 2023. There are two new masters we are going to open in 23 in applied languages, which is um, inter um, ah, commerce electronique, sorry, electronic, uh, I mean, e business, sorry, <laughs> e business, as well. Uh, uh, doubling and subtitling different type of videos. So very direct applied applications. UTC is our partner. UTC is Université Technique de Compiègne. It's part of Sorbonne University. It's our partner for artificial intelligence and embedded computing. When Université de Haute-Alsace is our partner to get uh, the master in informatics and computing and mobility. Very important computing and mobility. I mean, imagine here, you are getting the right people to imagine the, uh, the automatic car. I mean, in Europe, in America, it's easy to make automatic cars. There are lanes in the, on the streets. Here, there are not lanes. So if you can develop a l software which works on an Egyptian highway, on the ring road, then it will work everywhere. In South Strasbourg, well, this is our partner for architecture, and you see why university our partner for uh, civil engineering. Université d'Altezas is our partner for mechanical engineering. So, which means that when you get to us, you first when you get to a French methodology, which is a bit different from the Anglo-Saxon technology. The first two years is to prepare to learn basics, mathematics, and so on, and then you go more and more in specializations, and at the end you get your master. Uh, both research-oriented or professional-oriented. And when you go there, clearly what will be different with uh, uh, the French university is this type of critical thinking, not arguing, critical thinking. So this is really one of the specific topics to go to the French university. International relations with our partner with uh, Université de Grenoble, and last, uh, both at bachelor level and at uh, master level, tourism and cultural management. How to make tourism being and cultural heritage being source of high-end tourism, which is actually about sustainability, which is about uh, how to make the country efficient, and this is right for Egypt, but for all the regions. So clearly we are in connection with the economy. Uh, our partners, I mean, all our programs have a scientific committee and a partner committee where we have companies sitting on the, on the programs. So we have uh, Créécole, of course, QNB, LCWD, Lafarge, all of them are, are there. Uh, ah, there was a small video, but it doesn't come. So this is very important, actually, because uh, what we do now, it's developing partnership with companies, not only teaching working with you. Student life, where we are, we are in Shuruk. Shuruk is almost the middle of the, of the world. Uh, 20 minutes from, um, from the new capital, without the works. <laughs> uh, this is actually where we are. We have direct connections in train, uh, direct to uh, Adli Mansour, so very easy to connect to the center of, the, of, the, of, of, of Cairo. Uh, we have also residence, villas for our students, so you can have after works, uh, clearly a nice place where to work. Our patio is a place where actually we let uh, uh, the green areas to come to develop uh, and not to cut it. Uh, and we have also uh, student life, theater, sports, and contemporary dance, uh, and that's advertising for Educate. <laughs> and it doesn't work. Uh, but all videos don't work. Uh, it's OK. Very soon, a new campus. Actually, this is where we are. We are here. At the moment, we are here. Kampinski is here. Tagamo is there. Whole city of Cairo. The new capital, Shuruk. Shuruk uh, is a very clean place, very quiet place, and 
uh, now very accessible with tra common transportation with a new train from Adliman. So just three stops to get to Sherbrooke. And uh, in less than 40 minutes, actually, by public transportation, you get to Zamalek. Uh, uh, can I get the next one? Oh. Uh, yes. No. I, I'd like the videos. Can, can, can you make it working? This one I want it. Mm. Okay, <laughs> too bad. Um, this is actually the new campus. The new campus is actually, we, we have started the, the design work a, a year ago. Uh, we are the preliminary design, now detailed design. And this new campus is an eco-friendly environment. It's actually a demonstration of you, what you can do with new architecture to have a place using as minimum of energy. Uh, this new campus is... Uh, next to our current campus, over 30 fedans. This campus is with gardens, with Kenyan and Wales, so that may a very normal way, a very cool way to get no air conditioning, but very, very uh, fresh air within the building. Um, we have a type of avenue, actually, it's very French. You have along the avenue, buildings, accommodations, teaching buildings, research building, the learning center, uh, the administration building, uh, as well as uh, the, the food hall, which is very important. We are French, but we speak English, remember. Uh, a huge canopy just to make very, very cool, actually having shading. Shading is very important. All technologies which are new or old are very important to make that campus cool and nice to place to, to live with. Um, as well as a, a mirror, using the water, which is actually grey water for the, for the gardens, so no use of too much water, uh, solar panel everywhere, uh, local uh, type of materials, as well as a learning center, uh, accommodations, and a large canopy with solar panel. So clearly it's to be self-sufficient, within a very eco-friendly uh, environment. So remember, we have our partners, our programs are with eight international partners. Soon two more are coming next year. Three languages, three years, and to work Egypt in France and internationally, as our programs are recognized in Egypt and in France, and when they are recognized in France, they are recognized all over Europe because this is a European system. So fees, we are 105,000 pounds a year. Uh, we have uh, different partners. Our births are 15 to 20,000 pounds. We have accommodations administrative, and the administration process is come to join us on the booth. Uh, we require to be B1 level in English or in French to join us. And then we have our team of uh, language professors, which gets you to the best level of in French or in English very soon. So remember, we are French and we speak English. We are French and nous parlons anglais. Nous sommes français and we speak English. Nous sommes français et nous parlons anglais. Thank you very much. You can join us on the different networks. And hope to see you very soon. <laughs>